guys, Riske here, and welcome back to The Evil Within 2. So last we left off, we are facing off against this cum monster. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, can I skip this? I really don't care to watch this again, quite honestly. I cannot skip this. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Even if the cum monster doesn't see me. Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Okay, come on, asshole. Look elsewhere. I, just, I gotta say, I don't think I'm a fan of this guy. Sounds sounds fantastic. I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, agreed. Oof. Yeah, I don't think I like this enemy. <laughs> it's just it's it's bad news all around. Mysterious bobblehead. What the hell? Why is? Okay, it's a Bethesda game. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on when or where that was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Okay. Props to this game for that. That's funny. Especially because I played Fallout earlier today, so... That's really funny. This game wins for that alone. Oh, hell. I don't want to. I don't I don't want to deal with the cum monster. Would you fucking back up, bitch? I thought okay. this place was supposed to be fucking stable. Francis, literally nowhere we've gone has been stable. Why would this place be any different? You don't really pay much attention, do you? Okay, can't go that way. Because I've noticed on doors we can actually go through. There's usually like a little, little circle on it. Uh, almost. There we go. Ah! There we go. It's in here. Jog off for me. Cough it up. All of it. Now I'll take your herbs and your weapon parts and your files. Emergency cord displacement protocols. It is imperative that a missing cord be replaced as soon as possible. A cord that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the cord is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the cord from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with Alpha security clearance and can only be viewed by the Mero on the Mero servers. Well, how'd that work out for you? Ass dicks. Okay. Well, that was cool. I'm here for it. I always like when I get an achievement. It makes me feel good. Is this D5? Someone's been watching.
Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I- Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Then you had me at gunpoint, why? Microexpressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms, but in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right, but consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah, well that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware, disturbingly so. Great, so the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. 
feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Oh, okay. Welp. I feel like... This story is getting kind of problematic. I will take some uh, red brain juice. I will take some gunpowder. I will open that up. I can't take either of these syringes, but good to know they're there. Um, so since this is the last episode I'm doing of this for the day, I think it's going to be a little short. Um, I think this is the exit out of here, right? Yeah, yeah, this is where we came from. Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, go to Francis's office. I keep calling him Sebastian. It's driving me nuts. I don't want to. Uh, to all concerned, from Operative Grisham, regarding Lily Castellanos, initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types, egomaniacs and psycho psychopathic tendencies, with psychopathic tendencies, or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she not only has a guy guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Okay. Sounds good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go to Francis's office. Oh my god, why is everybody so fucking loud? Man, if I finish this, because I'm going to go shower right after this, if I finish this... And then somebody like hops in the shower. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Okay, let's look at the new slide we got. Can you move your head, please, kitty? Thank you. Aww. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. All right, well, still. Hard not to feel shitty. Okay, let's go uh, level up some and talk to stupid ass Kathleen. Man, I just don't trust the hoe. What? Take a look at some of the information I was able to dig up on your guy. Stefano Valentini, artist. Yeah, that's him all right. He's quite a flamboyant character. Seems he never reached the level of success that he wanted. Sounds familiar. I know of another flamboyant artist who failed. Then he started World War II. Let's hope this one isn't that bad. Even if he's not, he still needs to be stopped. Yeesh. Yukiko Hoffman, age 32. Oh, wait. Didn't I already... I think I already read this. I already read about all of these people. Okay. Never mind. Okay, 
yeah, let's go level up. And then I might, I might do a round in the shooting range just to kill some time. Yeah, I can open up one of these lockers, so I'm excited about that. Oh, Kathleen ain't here. You brought oh. something with you. A key? Excellent. I'm throwing hands. Some keys open doors of perception, but this isn't one of them. This one is more mundane, but still useful. Fuck you, Kathleen. Go on. Open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in your hand. Which one should I open? Um, I feel like I'm on, like, deal or no deal. Let's go with this one here. Okay. Take it. Nice. All right, let's level up. Okay, let's up some health stuff. So we can do total health recovered when regenerating from near death status is increased. If an attack would have would have just barely done enough damage to kill you, you'll grit your teeth and bear it, remaining alive with a small amount of health, or increase uh, life gauge maximum again. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Let's do Vitality. And then let's go down to Recovery. Or should we do Combat? Let's do Combat. And you know what? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, what do we got? So, melee attacks, including attacks with weapons like knives and axes, do more damage. Uh, push Kick. Any ability to kick stun enemies away from you. Okay. I like the sound of that. Kick when the icon is displayed. When certain enemies are staggered, a push kick will send them sprawling. An icon will indicate when a push kick can be performed. Gotcha. I dig it. Alright, what do you have to say? You seem more at ease, Detective. You've found a possible ally in this dangerous world. Not sure about that. I never know who to trust in here. Present company included. A shame. After all we've been through together. Isolation and distrust aren't symptoms of mental illness, but they are unfortunate byproducts of it. Closing yourself off from others does nothing but agitate your condition. You are human. You require connection the way a plant requires light. The only connection I require right now is to your machine. I've still got a long road ahead of me. All right, I'm out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a round in that stupid shooting range just to see what we get. Do you have anything to say for yourself? You should be ashamed. Gallery mode. Shoot the targets and aim for a high score. Score headshots and increase your hit counter. Chain attack. Start with 30 seconds and aim for a high score. Oh, that sounds too complicated. Gallery mode it is. Oh. Okay, sure. like that. Oh, I missed the rat. Oh. Bummer. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, sweet. Like, can y'all stop moving, please? Yeah, she's gotta stop moving too. Whoops. Oh, okay. I didn't actually shoot her. Never mind. Did I do well? You're the best around, detective. And nothing's ever gonna keep me down. He's enjoying it a little too much. Hey, sweet! Hell yeah! 
Love it. All right. That works out perfectly. Let's go ahead and save our game. We've done pretty well this session, I'd say. We got pretty far. Um, yeah, we'll just do a new slot. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.